Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle. I also run a blog called Coco Styles NY so go check that out and I write a post every week for women of all races, for fashion, for tall women and some lifestyle stuff also because I am a vegan so I do push that a lot for women. But today I have 10 tips for you guys that are 10 tips for healthy habits that every woman should have. Um, I'm going to say every woman, but I'm talking to my 40 plus women because I'm 40 and I'm, well, I'm not 40. I'm sorry. I'm 41. <laughs> uh, I'm going to jump right into it. These are pretty simple and this is something that I think that anybody can kind of put into their routine. Um, even if they have children, you know, um, even if they have husband and, you know, they're kind of busy in the, with home stuff or even if they have a nine to five. I truly believe that women of all ages should take some time for themselves every single day or once a week or even once a month, depending on your lifestyle. Let's jump right into it. So tip number one would be, and I, I do this, I've been doing this for some years now and it helps me. So I wanna share it. So tip number one would be to, before your feet hit the floor, out of your bed always give thanks this is even before you actually pray or meditate before your heat hit before your heat before your feet hit that floor give thanks to God give thanks to the universe or whoever and just be grateful have gratitude look around your room look around your home and just be thankful for what you are blessed with I think that a lot of people to, are not they don't have enough gratitude and they think things are just given to them just because but honestly it's, it's not so I would always recommend being grateful and you will be rewarded the universe loves gratitude and so does God so that's tip number one is to before you get out of bed and before your feet hit the floor give thanks and be grateful for what you have number two make your bed now I have been making my bed since I was a kid and personally I think that if your bed is not made, your day is kind of like all over the place, okay? For me, I work from home and if it's not made, I kind of feel like things are off in my house. So it doesn't take me but five minutes, even less, to make my bed. Pull the sheets over, fluffy pillows, boom, you're ready to go and you're out the door. So I think that's a tip that millionaires use. And I'll see if I can find like the um, source, but I've heard that a lot of millionaires make their beds. If they can make their beds, uh, so can we, okay guys? So number three would be to pray, meditate, or whatever it is that you do before you actually get your day started. And I mean, it doesn't have to be 20, 30 minutes. Take five minutes before you get your day started because most of us have days where we're super busy and we're dealing with people from all over between traffic, between work, emails, phone calls. Take some time for yourself and meditate or pray. Whatever it is that you do. And just take a second and just kind of just breathe and just get in touch with everything, okay? before your day gets started. And I think this works because, like I said, most of us do have busy, busy days, and it's so easy for us to get wrapped up in the day-to-day -day crap. And then we're home, then we're tired, but we've never taken the time for ourselves. So always feed your soul before you feed anybody else's soul because if you're not good, then they're not good. So that is number three. And number four would be to read books. I think reading books is a total, total healthy habit for women of any age. Being knowledgeable on things, you know, is something that I am, well, I will always fight for and push because at the end of the day, you know, things are happening every day in this world and we're not knowledgeable of some of the stuff i.e. the vaccine <laughs> you know a lot of people are just jumping to take it because they're saying to take it but sometimes you have to take a step back and think about your life your health and will this be good for you in your lifestyle it may or it may not 
So that's number four, that is to read books. Right now I'm actually reading The 48 Laws of Power and it's a really, really good book and that's by Robert Greene. And it's really good. I'm taking my time with it because there's so many things in this book that I'm just kind of taking back. <laughs> but I'm kind of like twisting it into my own way where I can use it or whatever. Not in a bad way, but you know, some of the stuff is, uh, it seems a little conniving. <laughs> but when you really think about it, you put yourself in situations, it's going to help you. So that's number four. It's reading books. Number five would be clean eating. Okay, guys, you know I'm a vegan, but I am not going to push you to be a vegan. I would say try to start in taking more vegetables, uh, less white rice, more whole grains, uh, more water, more smoothies. Um, try to cut out as much sugar as you can. And I will always say this, cut the dairy out. Cut it out, ladies. Cut it out, cut it out, okay? <laughs> it's no good for us. And, you know, as an African-American woman, I know for us, it's definitely not good. I don't know, I, I just, the cow's milk and the eggs and all that and the cheese, it causes mucus in your body and this is how a lot of us get sick. So, cut the dairy out first and then kind of work on the other stuff but definitely bring in some more greens drink lots of water and stay away from sugar guys so that's number five is clean eating number six would be have a skincare routine it's a healthy habit as we get older our skin does not snap back <laughs> like we would like it to snap back i'm 41 and my entire life, I've pretty much had pretty decent skin. I've never had any acne or anything like that. Uh, my mom was really big on, if you have a pimple, don't touch it. Don't pick it, don't pop it, don't even look at it, okay? She didn't want us to have marks on our faces because you pick them, you end up with a dark mark on your skin. So, have a skincare routine. It doesn't have to be expensive, but just put a little bit of time into yourself again. So all of these tips are for you as a woman, no matter what age you are. For the young girls, you can start young. I was a small child and I had lip gloss, I had nail polish, I had little stuff like that that my mom, you know, pushed in front of me, to, you know, to keep me in my feminine little girl ways. Um, as I got older, I continued the same thing on. Even in my home, I'm very clean in here, I'm very structured, um, it's just how I was raised. So, that would be number six, that is have a skincare routine. All right, number seven is workout. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys, I think I've said this before. I go to the gym, but I'm not like, I don't go super hard. I go, I go. I'm banking on the way I eat, honestly. But I do go. Um, I'll go three times a week. And if I don't go three times a week, it's twice. <sighs> But that's because I, you know, for me, the gym is not really fun. I think I do well with a trainer and I do well with classes. So if this is something that you struggle with also, then I would recommend getting a trainer. Um, they are pricey, but you can find somewhere they do like free classes sometimes. Um, I know here in Atlanta, they do free boot camps all over the place or they're like super dirt cheap. And there's a trainer on every corner here. <laughs> so you wouldn't have a problem if you live here in Georgia. So that is number seven. That's workout. If you guys see me looking down and reading my paper, because I keep forgetting them. Um, number eight is really, really important. Have a clean bill of health. Now, we cannot determine if we get certain illnesses and stuff like that. But I would always say for the ladies, because this is for you, if you are 40 plus, please make sure you are getting your mammograms like you are supposed to, okay? Now, if you are younger than 40 and you have a history of breast cancer, when I mean history, I mean your mom, your grandma, your auntie, more than two people, that's a history, okay? So you should also be getting checked. You tell your doctor, I need to get checked because I have a history of it. They're not going to turn you away. You tell them that. And then I will also recommend you guys getting the 
BRCA test. I'll write that word down here. Get the BRCA test done because that is genetic testing. Um, if they do not detect anything in your genes, they're gonna tell you, you, you know, it doesn't mean that you won't get it or whatever. So that's when, again, the clean eating comes in because I personally think all of that crap is from the crap we put in our bodies. So make sure you are getting your mammograms, make sure you are getting your annuals, your physicals, all that good stuff, going to the dentist, all of that. All of those things affect how you feel and you feel good knowing your status on your, your breasts, your status when it comes to any STDs, all that good stuff. So. That's number eight, have a clean bill of health and being on top of your doctor visits, okay? Number nine would be therapy. All right, a lot of people kind of stay away from the word therapy. They don't like it. Um, I am gonna say in the African-American community, it's something that a lot of us do not do. A lot of us will go to church and pray and all that good stuff. But I also think that it's really good to talk to somebody and they have, if you're not comfortable with going to someone of another race, which I really don't think, because some people say that they can't relate to them, but I don't know. I feel like at the end of the day, a therapist is a therapist um, and you're just there to release and just get it off your chest. Some of us are holding in things that we have buried for years um, from being a child. So I think therapy is a good habit for us or even journaling, taking time out to get the thoughts out of you and just kind of release them and let them go. So that's number nine is therapy or even journaling guys. And number 10, drum roll, is probably the hardest one. Being determined, okay. I, a lot of people will say that they want to do something, they're started, then they'll stop. They'll start, they'll do two, three, four months, then they'll stop. Until something happens in their life, meaning, let's say, a breast cancer scare, okay? Now you wanna go back and start eating properly. Be determined, know what you want. At the end of it all, remember that our bodies are shell, okay? This is a shell we've been given this body to pretty much borrow, okay? And I always say, take care of it the best that you can and let it work with your soul. So, those are my 10 healthy habits that every woman should have. I would say 40 plus, but this is for all women of all ages, all races. I think it's something that we all should start doing. And again, take time for yourself, ladies, and make sure you're healthy and keep on top of everything for yourself, guys. So that's it, guys. If you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And do not forget to go follow me on Instagram at Coco underscore styles and why. Coco underscore styles underscore and why. And go check out my blog at Coco Styles and why. So I do articles over there once a week. And again, it's for tall women, but anybody can pretty much read the articles because I am doing other stuff also on there. So I will catch you guys in the next one and bye for now.